This is a speaker that we use for our quickie. It's like every other speaker, whether big or small, they all work on the same principle. It has three important components. One is the magnet that you might have noticed on your phones and everything when it sticks. The second is an electromagnet, which I'll tell you more about. And the third is the diaphragm that you generally see vibrating on a speaker. This magnet and the electromagnet get the diaphragm to vibrate. And this vibration is transmitted through the air and we perceive it as sound. The audio signal passes through the coil as current. When the signal goes up, the electromagnet gets stronger and it goes closer to the permanent magnet. When the current goes down, the electromagnet becomes weaker and it moves further away from the magnet. This vibration between the electromagnet and the permanent magnet is transferred to the diaphragm and this is what produces music. Now let me make an electromagnet and show you how it works. This is how you build an electromagnet. The more number of windings, the stronger the magnet's strength. What was the coolest part about these experiments for you? Please let us know in the comments.